think uh, the person that was working in that building bought it. He's just at his desk hanging out. Oh, you're sitting there and checking a out plane his email. Comes through. Just got to work checking out his email, and the plane comes flying through the wall. Right through a big brick wall. Stupid Jeep. So par he parked his red truck right by the door so he could get in without getting too cold. Yeah. Now he's got foam all over him. And the big wing hits it. All right, um, Anthony, we got the audio from the Groundhog Day thing. Oh, we do? Because we weren't really sure what that stupid idiot was saying. They're Who, our caller? Well, no, Teddy <laughs> Teddy did a pretty good job for us Teasing up there. him, of course. He did a bang-up job. Shows all over the country. Covering <laughs> Groundhog Covering Day. Covering everything. Um, here's some highlights from uh, the Groundhog Banana Day. Food. <laughs> Banana Ford. Banana Ford. Once the Phil, king of the Groundhogs, <laughs> father of all Marmara, Seer of Sears, prognosticator of prognosticators, has been summoned by Groundhog President William Cooper. Lord of the Wasteland, humongous. <laughs> the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, that was the intro, and then uh, I, they recite some poem about disasters and tsunamis in general, I guess. Why is that? I don't know what this has to do with a, a groundhog, but... He then turned to President William, and in Groundhog, he's directed him to the scroll which reads, Natural disasters have been a terrible thing. Earthquakes, tsunamis, downpours, floods, landslides, heavy snowstorms, avalanches... Frigid temperatures, sleet, and freezing rain. They cause much destruction, suffering, and pain. When it seems like too much with which to cope, the coming of spring brings us new hope. Changing seasons are a wonderful thing. Now it's Groundhog Day, and we think of spring. Will spring come early, or will it come late? It's time for me to prognosticate. Did he just write a poem? Time for me to masturbate. Yeah. About the no, tsunamis? I know. <laughs> it didn't sound like it came out right. Uh, no, it yeah. came out good. The milk? Yeah, good enough. I'm sorry. The milk. <laughs> I'll blame it on the milk. Yes, Jimmy? No, no. Blame I... it on the milk. <laughs> What's that? Did he just write a poem that involves tsunamis and avalanches to tie it in with this faggoty animal that might or may not see its shadow? Yes, exactly. And, and what he was doing was the scroll is written down by somebody. It's transcribed. And the groundhog is supposed to be the one that tells this guy this stuff, and he writes it down. So what he's reading is what the groundhog told him. Ah, so the groundhog was bothered by the over 200,000 deaths in the tsunami and said, let's see what rhymes with that. Right. Let's not use mommy. We've seen how that works We've out. We've seen that doesn't pan out very well. I hear the guy with the top hat got fired and the guy with the cane, but the groundhog is keeping his job. Well, the groundhog, the groundhog is part Asian and kind of bailed out of the joke aspect. Yeah, of he didn't find it funny at all. Ugh. And finally. But I'm sorry to say, I see my shadow today. When I see my shadow, oh. six more weeks to the I see my shadow He's today. He's only the messenger. Oh, I guess so. They're Don't kill bully. the groundhog. Do you know what would really go well at that ceremony? Uh, mustard gas. <laughs> I, I want to see Puxatawney Phil dead. I want to see all of the people watching him dead. Oh. <laughs> Is that the Puxatawney Phil audio? Uh, at least we have it. That's good. From Puxatawney Phil scroll, I shall read, Please don't get my milk from Dwayne Reed. <laughs> I know it's Reed and Reed, and Jimmy doesn't like that, but fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gave you 20 minutes uh, of material today. <laughs> All right. What a dumb little tradition they got it's there. It's horrendous. At Hob My Knob, or whatever the place is called. Gobbler's Hob. Uh, Gobbler's Knob? Gobbler's Knob. Gobbler's Knob. Wow. And they say what happens is Monster Rain comes, and if Phil goes under the porch, there's six more weeks of humiliation and <laughs> self-hatred. <laughs> uh, Anthony? Yeah. Quick celebrity news. Oh, I love celebrity news. I think we know Does why... Does Info do this? I th yeah, really. <clears throat> I think we know why uh, Jay Moore has not called the program yet. He's too Ooh. busy... Chasing tail. Never stopped him before. Yeah. And page six is this little item. It says more mm -hmm. or less. More or less. I'm sure it's spelt like his last name. More or less. Very clever when they do that. Las Vegas hottie, Nikki Cox. She's Nikki in, Cox, she, yes. She's really hot and she's in that show, Las Vegas, okay? Uh, has broken off her engagement to Bobcat Goldthwait. They've been going out for years. 
Really? Yeah, they were going out like they had some dopey Fox show together, didn't they? Do you remember yeah, what before, that was called? Unhappily uh, Ever After. Unhappily WB. Ever After. It didn't involve a puppet. But before, mm-hmm. yeah. but before Bobcat, uh, she was going out with one of the other guys from that show, the little midget guy. Because I remember like VH1 or something did a little show with Nikki Cox at home. Really? And she had this like kind of trolley short guy that she was going out with. And then I guess she made it big and said, <laughs> see you later, pal. And then went out with uh, Bobcat, who was engaged to her. And, uh, wow, now it seems Jay Moore. But this is odd because Jay Moore is married. And just recently had a kid, or a kid within the last year or two, right? Had a mm-hmm. kid. Uh, he, he did nothing but uh, praise and dote over his wife on the show. Nicole. Had her on the show. Nicole, yeah. Had her on the show a few times. Yeah, and they seemed like uh, uh, the perfect couple. Well, I don't know what's going on because we haven't talked to Jay in a very long time. Oh. But basically it says that uh, Nikki Cox broke off her engagement to Bobcat Goldthwait and is now dating another comic, Jay Moore. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> dating? So it's not just it says, a... dating. Another comic, Jay Moore. Cox and Goldthwait dated for five years after meeting on Unhappily Ever After. But Cox should be careful of Moore, whom she met on Las Vegas, the TV show. The comic was at Sundance, hitting on every woman in sight, our spies oh. say. Last adulterer standing. <laughs> 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 at one point, Moore waltzed into the Converse suite at the Motorola Lodge, looked at a young woman, and leered, you should be on film, while trying to touch her. The indie actress shot back, I already am. He tries that at a film festival? You should be on film? Yeah, that's Everyone it. there is pitching movies. That Jay is really slick. Jeez. He actually said that the Cape Capshaw. Cape <laughs> <laughs> I did say Cape Capshaw, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Ah, uh, Cape Cap. <laughs> uh, somebody strap a bomb to me. I'm going to a polling station. <laughs> uh, Get me my Cape Cap show. <laughs> well, that's actually a little place on the coast of New England. I love that. Where talentless women who bang big directors live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go home tonight and rent Kate Fear. <laughs> Love that movie. <laughs> Go on, hurt me. I'm an easy target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fantastic. What huh. are you writing, Steve? Steve? What are you writing there? Oh, oh I, I got some audio. You're jotting a lot of stuff a, down. I'd love to know what it is. Writing something on a, a CD. What you got, Steve? Sarah Jessica Parker calls O and A. Wow. Um, it's really long though. It is. Give it a listen. That's Give it a little well, listen. We could hear from the beginning. I'm sure she says where she is. That's the actual call, and it and and, and it verifies exactly right. who she is in the first few seconds. Let's of the all call. listen in and yeah. So let's <clears throat> give it a day in court. Yeah, if you're tuning in, just listen to the replay because we explained this whole thing earlier. Yep, that's the beauty of the show, just going over and over again. Yeah, we're not going to waste time explaining it to you. Right. Not you. Not you. you. I'm not going to explain it to you, you oversleeper. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker. Hey. Hey. Who's this? You're not Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, Anthony. See, at this point, we're like, all right, it's one of our goofy calls. Caller's going, oh, yeah, I'll make believe I'm Sarah Jessica Parker. Meanwhile, it Plus sounds calls. just like Sarah Jessica know, Parker because it is Sarah Jessica show. Parker. Oh, these are the fellas that were just uh, trashing me. Are these the guys? Are you Sarah Jessica Parker? I am indeed. Now, how do you prove that? How do I prove it? I don't know. How does one prove their um, identity with a phone? It does sound a lot oh like you. i got to say that. Do you listen to our radio show? No, I don't. As a matter of fact, my trailer driver had it on, and I was fortunate enough to <laughs> you. Trailer driver? Okay, trailer driver. I said she called from a trailer. You said she called from a cab. Yeah. You're out. But she said, wait, wait. You're she out. said my trailer driver had it on. That doesn't mean she's in the trailer right now is what I'm saying. Good print. She could have gotten in a cab and made the call or something. What the hell's a trailer driver? I guess a, a driver. When you go on a drives... movie set or a, or a TV set, there's just trailers sitting there. Sex and the City, a lot of location shots yeah. around the city, so they probably cart her around in and, a trailer and take her trailer yeah, with she's her. Jumping in a limo. No, I know, but her trailer then probably goes from point A to point B, and it needs what they call a driver. Okay. See, and he drives the trailer. What, right. did they hook the trailer up to the limo and pull it? <laughs> I don't know, don't you hook it up to a Ford pickup hitch, truck? Hitch it up. No, tra- track trailer. Yeah. It's a trailer. <laughs> the timing was absolutely, just absolutely beautifully fortuitous for me. Sarah Jessica. Oh, she used uh, the Bob Kelly word too. What? No, she, for, she said fortuitous. Yeah, Bob's is fruition. I know. 
was close. Oh. I was trying. No, because she used it correctly. And she did listen to the show live herself. No one told her. I told you she was listening. I thought her her the show happened to be on. That's her. what she said. It was per, you know it was perfect timing. All right. It's just absolutely beautifully fortuitous for me. Sarah, Jessica, I got to say, your performance on the MTV Movie Awards, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did a great job. I loved the costume changes, especially you're, the one at the end. You're such a puss, Ed. What? It's Sarah Jessica Parker. You don't have the balls to actually say to me what you said to your maybe <laughs> limited audience? Come on, buddy. Limited audience? Come on. We, have a we get more people listening to this show than watching that Sex in the City. Really? Yeah. Hey, I, I, Are you certain of that? Positive. I watched What's the... Hey, guys, listen, listen. I, I watched hey, the... Take the, it easy. <laughs> it's all right. You're in, absolutely entitled to an opinion. I just thought it'd be... Help. I just thought it, maybe I'd put a human face to, uh, you well, know, some trash talk, and I thought it'd be helpful to you to actually make it less abstract and more of a person. I thought I thought you were really hot in Ellie's story. Hello? Jeez, that means the world to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So what do you guys do? You're DJs on the air in New York City? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. chat show hosts? Yeah, that, that's all we, we do. We're not yeah. as famous as you or anything. No. You know. But listen, what I wanted to do, what I actually wanted to do, because wow. I actually don't know you guys and I don't actually listen to the radio only because I don't have time, not because I'm an elitist or I think I'm above it. Why don't you come I simply, the, why, don't, I, I simply don't listen to the radio that much. Yeah. But what I thought I might do, since you've hurt my feelings so terribly, <laughs> and since I actually am a person with feelings, um, and you seem to have an idea about me that I'm sort of hideous and awful. What? Um, wait, 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 no. Hold okay. on. Wow. And yes. If she wanted to put a human face on it, why have not have somebody with a human face call as opposed to somebody whose head was in the Godfather? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thoroughbred. You're going to make her call again, aren't you? Uh, hold okay. on. Hold on. Right. What I do? Let me finish. Fellas. What does she want to do? Let me have mine. Right, what do you want? Perhaps her. what I do is I would invite you to the set if you're interested in coming. We're shooting in New York City, as you know, with our tiny little audience show called Sex in the City, which is just. I but saw anyway. the season uh, premiere, and I, I enjoyed the whole Staten Island thing you guys did this past uh, week. Thank you. Well, thanks. That's big of you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what I thought I'd do is, if you guys are brave enough, I thought perhaps you might want to come to the set and pay a visit and actually see that I'm not a deformed, awful-looking person. Oh, my. Wait, wait, wait. And actually, we didn't actually, take a actually, wait, wait, actually wait, 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 forced me, wait, wait. Forced me to toot my own horn, and I will say this. We didn't I've take it that far. One, I've never been one that has been accused of being stilted in her speaking. I've made numerous appearances on Letterman for God knows how many years. Sarah, hardly, you seemed a I'd little hardly, stiff. Sarah. I'd hardly be accused of being a stiff wait, person. We're just too... Let me just tell we're, me this. We're, 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 we're just okay. too schmucks on the radio. Let her finish. What does not matter what we say? Let her finish. We have, we, have personal, we have personal I case, that's all. I think it's a rather daunting experience to be the host right. of, a, of an award show when one has not made a living nor a practice of doing that. And I think that perhaps if you met me... You might actually just discover that you like me. And you you wanna, might actually be on my side. You want to come down today? We're uh, no, no, no. We I want to come down today. I think you have to come here. I think that's the best you can do as men is to trod your little feet <laughs> down to my set. Come visit me and say hello. Yeah. Oh, look! Now, now she made me feel all bad. I know. Well, you should. Sarah. You should. You guys take hot shots, and you don't realize we're people. Oh, Man, we got. You're asked to do something. Would you turn? Would you? Say no to I the didn't, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me, or not you knew you had the Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We didn't say you were hideous or anything. Yes, you did. Not really. We just yes, said... You absolutely, just, without question, inferred that calling me Ruth I, Buzzy, calling me old. I thought it was quite flattering when I said you're, you're starting to look like Ruth Buzzy. You damn people aren't supposed to listen to these goddamn shows. You really think, we're whoever just, you are, whichever one you are, you really think that calling somebody Ruth Buzzy is a flattering comment? <laughs> <laughs> you need to get out more often, it, my friend. It, it's called humor. We're just trying to have fun. You think people that heard that comment really go, I oh, yeah, she's looking like Ruth Buzzy. Like. Oh, we're, 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 we're heinous. We're heinous. We're heinous. I imagine you are, and so you're sort of lashing out so with rage. That's what it is. So we're, with we're, rage you are. Come on, boys. Come over to the set one day. We're, we're two just, you know, radio talk show hosts. You shouldn't... Don't be scared you should, of me. You should, Don't be scared of me. I'm not scared. You're going to have Matthew... You're going to have Matthew punch us in the nose? <laughs> Matthew is so above punching you two in the nose. Wow, we, yeah. got, we got to you. We're, uh, who are we? You're like a, a big, famous Hollywood star. You, We're just two local uh, shock people jocks. People actually are real people with feelings, and they yeah. work really hard. And granted, do I am I a flawless person? But no, do I go and fix it and become something else? I'm not. That's who I am. And All right. Can, can, we play, can we play What's in Sarah Jessica Parker's Pants right now? <laughs> it's a game we play. I think it would be a good way to uh, break the ice and, and make peace. 
It, it, you, you take the phone <laughs> and uh, rub it on your most intimate of areas, and we guess how you're groomed. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Let me ask I you can't believe we I'm got thinking, you. I'm just thinking just delighted to know. You just made my you, day. Aren't you guys kind of delighted to know that when you actually trash someone that there's actually a, a person listening and they have to be No, up, I hate that. Cut off? I hate that. Yeah, it's, it's, we're going to have to reevaluate. Kind of make you feel badly? We're going to have to reevaluate the entire program now. It kind of makes you feel like crap, doesn't it? Honestly, no, it doesn't. It's kind of easy to do. No, Sarah, Sarah, if, you, if you'll let us talk, it doesn't, it doesn't change my opinion at all. I don't care. We're just trying to have fun and make people laugh. We're just two local shock jocks. You're a Hollywood star, and we got I'm you. I'm not a Hollywood star. I'm a New Yorker. I've lived here my whole life. Yeah. All right. I'm a working actress. That's what I am. You're not. But I did. I did. Get you <laughs> on the air. Yeah. I did. Get you put me on the air, and I'm not saying you're not entitled. It's the first thing I said. I just want you to know are, there's a person. Are you going to? There's gonna, a person attached. Are you going to cry? No. 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 All I'm right. a grown woman. She won't cry. Maybe, maybe secretly we think you're really hot and we're frustrated that you we can't get you. You guys want to come visit me? And we or can't no? have, have sex with you or something. We'll come visit oh, you sorry. as long as... Don't go overboard. We'll, we'll you come... guys want to come visit? <laughs> I'll come visit you as long as you don't, like, you know, get us beat up or anything. No, I just want you to meet the crew and I want you to meet everybody that I work oh, with. Oh, that's going to just be ugly. And then we'll get all beat It'll up. Be ugly. And why not? Why not come and be in my environment? How about we, meet, on, how about we meet in the middle somewhere? Neutral territory? Yes. Like Sweden? Man, I, I'm starting to like you all of a sudden. Like Sweden? She's feisty. You're feisty. I like that. Well, Ru Ruth Buzzy never. Women, unattractive women tend to be feisty. No, Ruth Buzzy <laughs> never gave me a boner. You do. Okay. Um, please, fellas, don't, 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 don't try to backpedal that much. No, we're not. We're stupid. not backpedaling. You're, just, you're getting I, I on our good to, side. I wanted you to know that there's actually a human being connected when you guys. I know it's funny and I know it's charming and it's amusing to the listeners and. And, and I've uh, laughed how, at things in the past, too. But I just want you to know there's a person, that's all. Opie's that's all. the mean one. I'm nice. No. I don't know which one's which, and I right sort of don't care because you guys sort of you. did a tag team thing. No, you, you care because you called in. Now, now, I do care. I do care what you So said, you just heard our voices in the background in between, uh, you know, filming Sex in the City and went, oh, Are my you? God, they're talking about me? Where, where were you when you heard uh, us trashing you? We're shooting downtown on, on Chamber Street right? in the surrogate court building, which means I'm surrounded by authority. Right. Mm. Um, so anyway, I have to go to the set. They're calling me to set. But I just wanted to... Can we, can we have all our listeners bring down flowers to apologize or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want you to bring down flowers. They didn't do anything wrong. They're just happy listeners. Uh, trust yeah. me, I, I think... Right? Yeah. Huh? No, they're they're on our side. They, they all feel the same way. You feel Jesus. No, 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 no. It. Someone on line nine is calling us pussies. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, guys, you cause, can't win. Because now um, we're back. Listen, thank you, thank you for letting me call. Your men for listening. I appreciate. it. And I'm dead serious when I say come down to the set and visit. You don't have to come today. We're shooting till mid-August. We're right. here in New York City. Could you hold on? Our producer will just get info. If you could just give it yeah. to somebody on, on that end, right. we'll try so to figure something out. I look out. forward to meeting you. And, and I, I secretly do watch Sex in the City, even though yeah. I can't admit it on the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a chick show. No, it's and, not, man. And you are the hottest on, on the show. The blonde, I don't like at all. She was naked in the firehouse well, this week. These are the people I work with. I dig her. I dig her. Yeah, but I'm trash talking but, me. I'm not going to jump on your side. Just no, but she, I'm just, I'm just giving my opinions again. Like, I, she, right, was, but she was naked through that whole first episode, and I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. I was hoping you were going to get naked with that politician. The I'll never get naked. I never have, and I never will. No, yeah, it was pretty <laughs> close last night uh, on the uh, movie awards. All right, why don't you please get the information so I can go to set and not get fired? Okay. All right, thanks, guys. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. There she goes, Sarah, Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker, Parker. <laughs> calling in. Well, you know, she's got some balls there. Come calling up and defending herself. Wow, I haven't heard that in a long time. Yeah. That was well, the weirdest the thing. End of the controversy. She was on set. I don't know why, after all this time, I thought she was in a cab. But, okay. Rocky on Long Island. She was taken around on a horse trailer. My my favorite part was that oh you guys hate being called shock jocks and twice or that thing you're like we're just two dopey shock we're jocks no shock jocks well that was uh, years ago and I think I was saying it you know yeah. like we're shock jocks you know but uh but Ed from the Jersey, the, Jersey. Go ahead, she, Ed. she's not elitist about listening to radio but she sure is elitist about thinking she's better looking than Ruth Buzzy I guess she doesn't think Ruth Buzzy has feelings <laughs> <laughs> hey, good point yeah. end of that story that you know she ended up blowing us off of course we did. did try to go down the set yeah. So.